All right, let's go. Netawat versus Superbong. Doggy. I know, Remember, man. We were, what we were talking about, we did a preview card, and we were like, ah, I don't know. It's kind of weird that they're scheduling Smoking Joe to fight Superbong when he's already scheduled to fight Taiwan Chai in Atlanta in November. Like, what? How is he going to make that? What if he gets knocked out? What if there's this? What, what if this happens? If Superbong wins, what and happens? And boom. <laughs> and boom. <laughs> Here we are. So now... Yes. It's time to have that discussion once again. Uh, but we could talk about the actual fight itself. Um, because, I mean, forget all that stuff. If you're just saying, hey, we got Smoke and Joe versus Super Bon, that's a banger. That's a great fight. It's a great matchup. Shout out Smitty. It says, Bun for Joe, but what a performance by Super Bon. Absolutely. Dude, and Chummy Boy, the stadium was quiet. We were like, what the fuck happened? Was Chummy Boy there? Um, I, that'd be sick. Uh, but shout out, Mr. Sain says hi. Hello. Um, Hello. But yeah, this was very similar, kind of parallel to Super Like Haggerty in a way, where it's like, you know, we got these two titans. We're going to yep. see them duke it out in the main event. Yep. And then one of them says, not quite. I'm just going to make this real quick. And that's kind of what we got. What did you think going into the fight, matchup wise? Like, who did you think? No, I, I was excited. I was with, uh, with well, the one I know the most is Superbon, right? Like, he's yeah. the one that I've watched the most. So I was cheering him on and hoping that he'd win. Mm-hmm. Um, but Smoke and Joe, man, coming in with his hands, he has really quick hands, man. His boxing yeah. is really solid. Uh, the only thing is that when you start getting in really close with that boxing, uh, Superbon has those lightning fast elbows up the middle. Dude, yeah, and he threw the was it the left the first time that cuts him open, um, like on the break, and you're yep. like, ooh, that's nasty. And then they kind of collide again, and the, and Joe falls, and I was like, and it was kind of like a push a little bit, and I was like, okay, yeah, he tripped him a little bit. They got their legs tangled. He pushed him over, and he f- fell, and then he's like on the ground, like dazed, and I'm like, what is going on here? I think that the next picture I think shows that moment. Yeah, it, yeah. This is funny because on on my notes I put down what what hurt him <laughs> because it, it's similar to the Haggerty, you know where everything just happens so fast and super like you know catches him with that elbow as he's mm-hmm. done and i'm like what just happened so th- that might be why uh, i think chummy boy said the stadium was quiet right that might be exactly. like everybody was probably trying to figure out what just happened so at first i was like did he did he dump him because the way he fell was kind of weird yeah that's what so he did he did elbow and then dump um we cannot show the actual finish itself um, because it's a pay-per-view stream, right? So we're not trying to show anything behind a paywall. Um, it'd be cool too, but like obviously that's not cool. Yeah. Um, but we do get some clips uh, <laughs> that we can show. Cool um, stuff. Rip Oakland A's. <laughs> a poor Oakland A's. There you go. Some of the dirt from the field. Yes. Oh man, it's, there's a reason it's. A, I'm wearing an Oakland hat. And not the uh, A's hat. But, um, yeah, so we can't show the actual knockout, but we can show some clips. Um, and even in this, even in this um, like, freeze frame, that's, this is why I thought it was a dump. Yeah. I mean, it yeah, kind of yeah, was I mean, a dump, right? It's like he rocked him and then dumped. George Foreman used to do that a lot, where he'd hit someone super hard, they'd oh. collide, and then he'd push them, and then they'd fall. And maybe they would have stayed up but from the punch, but they couldn't get, they couldn't get back up. Uh, from the damage from the punch. And that's kind of like uh, what it is here. Um, by the, by way, the way, uh, last, last name I would have expected, expected to be a mentor of George, George Foreman's, Foreman's night. night. Hey, come on, dude. George Foreman was Fantastic. awesome. Great boxer. Great grill. Uh, <laughs> great kids, all named George Foreman. <laughs> He's got like six kids named George Foreman. Uh, but here it is. Should. We'll watch this real quick. Um, let me just make sure the volume's not super loud. So, yeah, that's why it was like, okay. But then he's clearly out of it. He's slowly getting up, and I'm like, all right, take your time. Take your time. Oh, but he couldn't, and he stumbles getting up. Yeah. So, so I, was I was wondering, like, when he dumped him, did he hit the back of his head? And that's mm. what caused it, and that's what where I was so thrown off by until they showed the slow motion replay, and I was like, oh, no, he caught him with that elbow. And was it, like, on the temple, on the jaw, where was it? Like, right here. Actually, yeah. uh, Rich, uh, one of those pictures um, – the the not the last picture but the one before um before he's on the ground is the elbow that that finished it 
Um, Blunderbub saying got some echo from Romero. Hopefully it's cleared up. Blunderbub, let me know. It's probably when I shared the audio, it probably came through. That might be side, what it was. We'll get that fixed. Thank you, Blunderbub, for pointing that out. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so this is the elbow right here. So he steps in in with it. He beats the Nasty. left hook of uh, Smoke and Joe. Smoke and Joe throws the left hook, but the elbow beats him to the punch. That's what everyone's saying all the time, right? Elbows beat punches. Everyone's pulling up that uh, Liam Harrison quote where he's like, elbows will beat punches all the time, right? And it was perfect. Um, and Smitty says, you know it was good when the camera barely catches it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the commentary. Voice is on the jaw. Yeah, and, the, and the, the commentary is like, you could tell they also didn't see it, but they didn't want to say that they didn't see it, <laughs> uh, which is actually something that we talked to Ray about um, where he was like, yeah, sometimes – like I think it was probably about the Haggerty one, right? Where, because uh, it was that night, and he was like, "Yeah, I've learned to not try to pretend like I saw what caused the damage, and to just he's be so honest good, and dude. Be like, Flores, yeah, yeah. Getting to chat I, with him about that was really that's cool. what I was gonna say. Getting a chat uh, about that, and at you asking him those questions, and just understanding how his mind works in the process. So now, yeah. as I'm listening to Ray Flores, I'm able to appreciate so much more. Like yeah, what seriously. he's doing while he's doing it, so good. Yeah, yeah. and and Mitch was kind of in that same zone in this one because he was like, he didn't say what it was, and they were talking about it. And then once they pulled the replay up, they're like, yeah, we couldn't even really see it. It's so quick, and, and I appreciate know. it. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to lie to kick it, you know. No, dude, you're welcome either way. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know exactly. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, fantastic win by Superbon. I I uh, I think we both probably had him winning going into this fight. Um, it's tough. I feel bad for for Smoke and Joe because he had you know a big fight booked, another re a rematch again with Tawan Chai, but this time in America, in Atlanta. He's like an Atlanta boy too, so like that's probably gone now. Um, I would imagine, right? Uh, um, Chatri talked about it in the pre-fight press conference. Where he's like, yeah, we just don't know if Tawan Chai is going to be ready for Atlanta. He's dealing with an injury, I think, from the previous fight where he, his eye was kind of messed up. Um, he told Frank, the the interpreter, yeah, I couldn't really see out of one of my eyes. And I maybe it's that. It could be something else. Who knows? They're not saying what it, what, what it is. But if he can't make it to Atlanta, then they'll probably do Super Bond versus Tawan Chai somewhere else. Um and yeah, we just maybe lose a fight. Maybe they put something else on Atlanta. Um, but if, if you can make Atlanta, I would imagine it's super fun, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. And, which is also a rematch, but also a great fight. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch take that it. fight 10 times. I'll watch it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, great main event. <laughs> hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have uh, and don't forget to tune in live every sunday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern uh, and you can join in on the fun yeah don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell it goes a long way all right everybody thanks for watching that short clip from story of the fight